edition of Lifestyle Exposé. I am your regular host, Igrilo Laura, and today with me is a wonderful woman who is the president of Singles Connect Concept. Please welcome with me, Mrs. Chiwe Bode Akinwade. You're welcome to my show. I am so happy and you look so beautiful this morning. Thank you very much, Laura. <laughs> okay. I'm also happy to be here. All right. I'm being the president of Singles Connect. How did you, what is your drive towards this, bringing, towards bringing up this concept? What motivated you? What was your inspiration? My inspiration, I would say, is um, basically to create a platform where single, matured um, business class, mm -hmm. entrepreneurs that are looking forward to find a partner will meet, mm -hmm. not just because they want to get married, but also to advance their businesses or connect for the better part of their life. And the essence why we've also set up Singles Connect is we've come to realize that in the modern world, mm -hmm. where matured singles of 28 years and above um, run their businesses, run their careers, they're neck deep into what they do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, they find no time to even relax, to even find the, the God-given man or the God-given lady. So we've now said, okay, we are going to create this court, which is streamlining it to say it has to be 28 years and above, because at that point, the community, the parental, the societal pressure has set in mm -hmm. to say we are creating this platform for all of you to meet mm -hmm. in one room, in one gathering or somewhere or in a particular platform where you can connect, mingle, have fun. From there you form friendship, from there you can move into your courtship and marriage can happen. Okay, so will you say that is your objective? Absolutely. So with the editions you have covered um, the last, this is the fourth edition, right? Yeah. So will you say you have been able to meet to most of this objective? Yes, I would say yes, and we always get better and better. The first edition was apron and the suitcase, and what were we trying to talk about? The personalities of a guy and a lady. Hmm. A lady has her own personalities, the guy has his own, but what we've tried to do is to come up with a discussion to say, what do you think are the personalities you expect from a guy or the lady? Because if we understand our personalities mm -hmm. for the opposite sex, life mm -hmm. is better. The second one, we talked about things that ideally singles should know about and what is it let's talk about truth be told there are certain things that are meets in the society oh i'll give an instance ladies believe that guys are very stingy and guys <laughs> believe that ladies are very materialistic okay. how do you marry the two i consider them a myth so we use that platform to say let truth be told remember by the time you're talking about the issues that has to do with a male or a female in a gathering where people are looking forward to connect by that you understand the ideologies of different people and that is where the chemistry begins. At the edition we talked about battle of the exes. For everyone to move on to say, yes, I want to start a relationship. Yes, I want to take my business or my career to the next level. You need to let go of the past and move on. And that was what we dealt extensively. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have moved on and you've said I've dealt with the issues of the battle of the exes in my life, then what are the definitions of love? And that was what we talked about in the fourth edition. Let's define love. And okay. we believe the definition you give to love is what love will mean to you. Okay. And that is what you look out for in any of the partner you want to choose. Okay, looking at the Battle of the Exes, that was one edition I knew was very fantastic. And I don't know how you came up with that edition because that is the most difficult issue singles face. They find it so hard to move on because of the experience they had in the past. So how did you come up? How did you research about this? Um, we looked at it. My husband, we are co-president of Singles Connect. We have been into relationship um, ministry, if I, if I should use that word, for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And you realize that it's no longer a coincidence. Seeing people mm -hmm. go through issues of their past and they remain there. Some people are dealing with forgiveness. Some people are dealing with hurt. Some people are dealing with integrity being dealt with. And so many things. And you find out that there are millions of people on earth Mm -hmm. millions of ladies, millions of guys. And we've said, let's deal with these battles that people are facing. There are single parents. There are people that are divorced. But that does not mean your life has come to a full stop. You just must move on. And except you embrace that, the only constant thing in life is change. So the issues that, you have, that has happened between you and your ex is a matter of change. And that change you must embrace and move on. So we felt that is important. 
in as much as yes, we are creating this atmosphere, we want to move people to the next level. Mm -hmm. Let's deal with the issues that they are facing because it's a battle. Mm -hmm. And you see people dealing with I can never love again. That's not true. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just unplanned. a statement of emotion. You can love. If you find the right person and the chemistry comes together, you will see yourself loving. We always tell people a broken relationship mm -hmm. is better than a broken marriage. Why don't you get prepared? and have your marriage sweet. Wow. So it's relevant for people that are married, of mm -hmm. course, yes. They can even use it not for themselves, but mm -hmm. also even for single people around, around them. them yes. And also, yes, you are married, but you are single. Understand me, you're single because you're whole. You mm -hmm. are a being. Mm -hmm. So there are certain things that we teach. Mm -hmm. If you're a married person and you hear or come across where we've put up on the YouTube talking about Battle of the Exes, and there are people that are married still dealing with the issues of their past. Mm -hmm. They will take a learning from it, okay. love the man they finally met mm -hmm. and chosen as their husband and move life forward. So it's relevant. Well, looking at Singles Connect, it's a big project. So how did you get the finance for this project? How did you go about the finances and what were your challenges starting this project and letting it run a successful one? Interesting finance is still a challenge. I mean, you're a potential person that can sponsor Singles Connect. So wow. welcome on board. <laughs> yeah. um, Betting a vision, betting a dream mm -hmm. um, in a society like this mm -hmm. can be very challenging. But the truth is, pulling resources, personal resources, to make sure that your dream and your vision come true is what we've basically done to start off Singles Connect. But I shouldn't deny the fact that corporations and um, organizations, even individuals, are coming mm -hmm. to say, this is a laudable idea, this is a laudable vision which we want to be part of. They are coming in trinkles, we are having um, product support, mm -hmm. we are having mentions. All thanks to Web TV, we could have paid huge sum of money, you understand, to have it, you know, put up there. But sponsors like you made it happen and we really appreciate it. I will use this platform also to okay. appreciate that. It's a struggle, we are dealing with it, we are sending proposals. But that notwithstanding, I have other businesses I do and my husband, so we plow also our personal resources. The joy of every vision mm -hmm. is for you to see the light of day in the things that you bet. So we are dealing with it and we believe that in no distant time, organizations will want to come and acknowledge us and give us the support because we hold the target market of some of the things that people want to push out. Well, I can see that you're really, really, really in-depth into what you're doing, the Singles Connect Forum. But how do you combine your personal job to this concept, seeing it's a big one? Yeah, tough question, but of course we are dealing with it. Um, I said, um, tough issues don't last, but the tough ones are the ones that do. Mm -hmm. Combining it, I would rather say that what has worked for me is the grace of God, most importantly, before any other thing that I'm going to say, God has been faithful and his grace and his strength. But yes. essentially is to compartmentalize my life, which mm -hmm. is what is it for Singles Connect that I need to do, what time do I need to do this, my personal businesses, my career and all that. If there is need for me to stay late night, stay all through, making sure that I deal with the issues that I need to deal with. Of course, we've had cases where ESCO meetings, we, we had the meeting all through the night and went to bed at about four. Wow. But there are sacrifices of getting things done. There will always be a time for rest. But when you have the strength, you push it and you get it done. So okay. I try to compartmentalize it, making sure that none of the issues, issues pertaining to my life suffers and of course my home as well. So mm -hmm. I give each one its own place and that has been what. Wow, that's very interesting. So what plan do you see for this concept? What is the vision? Are you seeing for Singles Connect? Singles Connect in a couple of years, couple of months to come, is our dream that will take it behind the shores of Lagos. Um, we've had people register that, that are not based in Lagos and say, oh, when I come into Abuja, when I come into Port Harcourt, when I come into Calabar, and we fall back to the issues of the challenges, finance. So let's deal with Lagos first okay. and also make sure that um, we move it. But our plan, our dream is come another two years, mm -hmm. um, Single Connect will be a household name, and Nigeria pick geographical key locations to move um, the events to. Um, all thanks to digital, is no barrier of any location. So we are trying to also connect, mm -hmm. make our alternative channels, especially the digital platform, very interactive, where if you can't meet up, you can always reach us oh, there to, okay. to learn. Then, of course, take them. We are looking at connecting people, people. from the outshores of Nigeria. Mm. Oh, yes. 
And so if you wish to get married to an American, for example, don't worry, Singles Connect will get that sorted wow, for you. Okay. So that's our dream. It is a large, everyone is a large one. And also we look forward to giving opportunities to do more of also corporate um, social responsibility okay. issues where at a particular time there are certain things that we have to give back mm -hmm. to the society. That is the dream of Singles Connect and we are still active to make sure that it happens. It happens. Okay. Yes. Finally, um, since you've been making a lot of connections to work, a lot of solutions in relationships and all, please in a brief word, you really tell us how you met your husband, how you cope in your marriage, <laughs> and of course, what advice would you give the single and even the married one out there? Okay. I met my husband in a very um, interesting way, if I would say. Mm. I met him through work. Okay. Um, where I used to work before, he used to come because we offer them services. Okay. So I, I, I didn't know that he was coming to do work and also to look at someone. <laughs> okay. so, um, then the, the, the blessed day, which I will call it because he's a fantastic man, wow. he came to say, oh, I've come to, and I said, I brought out the file of their organization to okay. say, so how am I help you? I said, no, 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 you like work so much. We want to talk about you. And I'm like, excuse me? Me? Why? And, and that was how the story began. And here we are today. Wow. The journey is, is almost 10 years. Wow. Getting sweeter wow. and better. Yes. So what advice do you have for singles out there who wish to have a blissful marriage? Of course, we know everything is not perfect. I know. But who would want to walk towards perfection? And also the married people who are facing challenges also that would want to make their marriage a stable one. What okay. advice do you have for My them? advice for single is um, take it easy. Okay. Don't put yourself under pressure. No matter who is pressurizing you, be it your family, be it your peers, be it your... I mean, whoever it is, mm -hmm. choose to deal with the pressure and refuse to be under pressure. Is what the weight and get the best. Okay. Rather than rushing out of pressure and you get into the marriage and you're rushing out. Mm -hmm. There are so many people that have faced the pressure, they rushed into the marriage and they are planning mm -hmm. if there is any window for them to rush out. So my advice to single is work on your values. I always tell people, do you have a value as a single man? Do you have a value as a single lady? What are the things that are sustainable okay. that you are taking into marriage? Marriage is an empty vacuum. It's what the man brings in and the lady brings in that forms the marriage. Yes. If you're coming empty-handed, you make nothing. Mm -hmm. What do we de define marriage to be? Marriage is the coming together of two imperfect human beings mm -hmm. working towards perfection. Mm -hmm. If you have that at the back of your mind, your marriage will be blissful again. Wow. That's very interesting. So what surprise do you have for the audience? The next edition, can you just give us a surprise package? What okay. we are expecting in the fifth edition? Interesting. Our fifth edition will come up um, on the 2nd of August. Okay. We want to discuss no more games. Wow. Moving on. Mm. There are lots of games that singles play. Hmm. Don't get me wrong. I don't mean basketball. I don't mean golf. Wow. Games that singles play. We want to discuss those games. The good ones and the bad ones. And if you're going through the bad ones, it's high time you get the veil off your eyes and you move on. Wow. There are lots of people promising out there for you to hook up with. Wow. Thank you very much. It was nice spending some time with you talking about relationship. And of course, I've learned a lot. And I know the audience there have learned a lot. Thank you. Thank you once more. Thank you. And that'll be all on Lifestyle Expose. To communicate with Singles Connect concepts, you can log on to www.singlesconnect.com. Ng. And of course, don't miss their fifth edition coming up in August with the title No More Games, where singles come together to meet socially and to share experience and ideas. Well, I am your regular host, Igulu Laura, and to contact me, you can go on to Lifestyle Expose at webtvng.com or our social media platform, Facebook and Twitter. Till then, to have a wonderful relationship ahead. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.